promised you to. Said we we're going to build one more that breaks all the rules and not supposed to work. And it's a little finicky, but it works. We have a six and five eighths inch outside diameter tube here, crawling down to a four inch, going up, and it's cooking dinner. That's uh, whoops. That's some pork and uh, corn and fixing to go with rice. But anyway, it's a little finicky. A couple of mistakes that I made. I have that little, you see that little lever right there sticking out? And there's a little piece over there to one side that holds it, pulls it up tight. You can kick it over to the left, dump all your ashes out of it. I left about uh, an inch and a half down in the bottom before the four inch riser tube big mistake because the wood's not burning all the way down so it's a little pain to get started and uh, the six and a quarter inch like that <coughs> it's right here <coughs> it's you want to go ahead and pull it off <coughs> it's um it has to be choked down a little bit so you can see what we're doing there but all in all works pretty good we're not gonna throw it away. It's just it's it's one made for getting stuff really hot really quick. That's for sure. So it'd be a high boil stove, that kind of thing. But we're gonna put some big wood in it and see what happens. So not a failure, but just not near as good as our other stuff. Our other and this one here, we got a little work to do on it still. Not near as good as our other rocket stoves. That slow bin 90 right there. Now that's a cooking machine there. And this one is too. You got a cooking spot there. Had one here. That's not welded on. That's just laying up there. Then we're going to make another cooking spot here. Warming table there and there. We're going to cut these off. But anyway, time to eat. And then there's our uh, 4 inch K, K stove model there. With the uh, little pot tray. It's adjustable up and down. And the rice cooker and bunch of six and three inch test stuff we've been fooling with all right as promised there it is breaks all the rules still works cheers all right we've been letting it burn down for a while you can see the kind of woods in there it's nothing special just little pieces and it's that and the other but like I said would be borderline a little bit finicky you can see that that flames won't <coughs> come out of there and every now and then we get a little puff of smoke coming out of there but uh, what I did a minute ago just put a little piece doesn't take much but uh, just say well, it's actually taking more of it right now isn't it water's coming out the top you must have hit a boil quick but it doesn't so it's not it's not way oversized that's a six and a that was six and seven eighths wasn't it yes. six and five eighths five so six and actually outside to outside six and three quarter. I'm sorry. Yeah. Six and three quarter. So inside is six and a quarter. Inside to inside, six and a quarter. That's an oddball pipe. But anyway, uh five and a half you'd probably get away with. But we also also have this scenario back here, that pipe. I didn't it I didn't want to cut into that pipe. So I just used some uh, six inch uh, square tube and cut it in half and round it around. So there's another little problem to restrict and reduce and irritate the flow. But as you can see, it seems to be doing just fine. And uh, but the, one of the other problems was down there at the very bottom. I've got about an inch and a half below the bottom of the uh, 90 degree. And so it's not getting a complete burn all the way down in there. But actually, it's not too bad either because everything else we've had runs out of coals pretty quick. This one, actually, coals actually stay in there. But you can see it's wanting to come out of there again. You have to, uh, <coughs> you can't let it have as much uh, air as it wants, put it that way. But it, uh, and this is not, this is, this is, you can see it's not full of wood, but uh, it was doing a really nice 
I mean, it, we could get it to a full boil, no problem. But if we load it up with some smaller wood, or dry wood for that matter, this is just wood we've had laying around, and it's full of moisture and all the rain we've had. <coughs> but you can definitely get it going. So, you can use a six inch, because this is six and a half inside going to a four inch riser and uh, I like it I mean it's a hot I mean it can you can really I mean if we want to get something to a really fast boil use some dry wood in there and wow um, you can boil the water right out of something <coughs> so anyway uh, like I said it works uh, a little bit finicky on the airflow you have to play with it just a little bit but hey that's no problem you're gonna play with it anyway Alright, I got it again. <laughs> uh, dropped a uh, 12 inch piece in there. So we were playing around with the draft. Right now you can hear it. I mean, it's got a decent little draft, but it's not enough. So, drop that all the way down in there. And then we started raising it up while we were watching the fire, listening to the flame. Nice the traffic didn't decide to come through right now. You oh. had it. Right there's the sound. And we came to the happy medium that adding 12 inches of pipe. No smoke. Which gave us a total of uh, 32 inches. And no smoke even with you messing around with the wood like yep. that, which is with highly me. unusual. This is a hot burning way. We should That's, the temp. It's really, really hot. Yeah, grab that thermometer. See what we got. There you go. Hold it. All right. So, right behind the fire chamber, four. Oh, if I can hold it steady. Oops. All right. Eight hundred and ninety degrees, right there. Isn't that something? Because a while ago it was the side of the pipe that was the hottest, and that is uh, around around eight hundred, uh, eight hundred ninety degrees. Come up the pipe a little bit, and it's uh, around seven hundred. Come up another. 530 and 470. I don't know if this is a fair test here because we just put this pipe in there. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, 480. Doesn't take that long. 413. And, uh. Where's the hot spot down on top? Yeah, hot spot's right dead, dead on top like it normally is. Right on top of that, uh, same way for the place on this stove here. It's right dead center. So, uh, Yep, adding a little bit of the, uh, now we intentionally made this one, trying to break most of the rules, just to see what would happen. We're trying to get one that would be finicky and not work, and uh, we managed to accomplish that, but we can go back and add a little bit longer smokestack to it, and it's, this is pretty cool, you just, well all of them's easy, all of them's easy to get the ashes out of. But this one, you just slide something up underneath there and kick that little lever right there. Kick it to the left and then slide back. And we got a little finger over there that's, I don't know if you can see it or not, that's tapered. And uh, whenever you slide it in there, it just stops. Won't go any further and it sucks it up tight. You just kick it out of the way and then kick it back when you're done. Anyway, had a little fun building that one. But uh, we put this on the list of good rocket stoves yeah I can't hold it up there for long but yeah Oof. that thing's <laughs> 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 alright it's hot <laughs> cheers <laughs>